I'm so excited to play against a Levox member. These guys are so good at the game. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Hey, Axie Rankers, today I'll show you a new team I built really cheap based on the concept I've been showing in my previous videos. Some of the cards are different and at the end of the video, I'll explain why I decided to take them instead. The full team costed around 0 .018, less than $700 and I just climbed over 200 MMR today, sitting at 2.5k MMR right now. Really cool right? Pay attention to the matches, we have 3 really hard matchups today including Moonlight from Levox. First game will be against a double Aqua team, this is one of the hardest matchups for sure, because both Aquas can speed up and kill my Aqua and Mech. I'll be using my new Mech. Instead of Double Nutcracker, I'll be using a Gota on the mouth to control the pace of the game, and Hair in the back for the damage and draws. Hero and Arco are the same as before. My Mech has 47 speed, and I'll need Arco to close the game. Next, I'll be using this weird Shrimp Aqua. If you have seen my previous videos, I'll always go with at least two 120 damage cards for the shrimp combo so I can kill most axes in one shot. Not this time, and I'll give the full explanation in a few minutes so you can understand after the matches. His goal is still to snipe the biggest threat on the enemy team, but in a more efficient way. And finally, I'll be playing in Utility Plant, this time I don't play Leaf Bug or Pumpkin, I'll play Cactus for a bigger damage output and water and can to help in against double aqua teams. I also don't have Zigzag or Herbivore, instead I have Sirius to steal their energy. Now, his plant is just like mine, but with Bidens instead of watering can. And then he has two amazing aquas, both with beast or bug damage and outspeed potential. The midliner uses Arco and the backliner uses Koi. Let's see how my team performs against this. Huge turn 1 for me, I could get some energy back and still damage his plan. Unfortunately, his plant gets in last stand and steals one energy. But keep paying attention to the cards he uses and his energy. Right here, I'm still able to use the new zero cost on the Aqua and get enough value from it to be able to kill with the mech. And that's it for game 1. Can you see why I was able to win, even if I can't backdoor and snipe as Koi Aqua? Even in a bad matchup? Let me know in the comments below if you can guess it. Now game 2 against Moonlight. He's playing one of the best teams in Season 19, similar to the ones in the top 50 right now. He's using a strong plan on the front with double discards, Pumpkin and Yam. A bulky midliner that can sustain damage in a similar way to the one I've shown in yesterday's video. And in the backline, a scary mech that can backdoor and kill most axes in one shot due to the furballs. I'd say this is one of the top 5 teams right now in the game. As long as he can tank with both the front and midliner, his mech will kill everyone.
The only thing he would probably change is the twin tail in mech's tail instead of a single nutcracker. Other than that, this is really scary. Let's see who wins this. Pay attention to my combo now, I'll explain it at the end of the video, but if he doesn't put any shield, I'll snipe his mech with just 3 energy. Unfortunately, he was expecting it and put a ton of shield. And this happens. Now, I just have to be able to kill this Hulk. He can put a ton of shield and gain energy back. Let's see if my new mech can do it. That's it for Game 2. Game 3 will be against another bad matchup for this team. You probably already know that Poison can counter this team really well, especially without Bidens or any heals. He's playing a Leaf Bug, Sirius, Pumpkin and Yam Plant, a Midliner with Toothless Bite, Sarastes and Grass Snake but with Timber in his back. And finally a Backliner with Furball that can also stun. This is a really strong Poison comp too. If you have seen my latest videos against poisons, I'll go for the backliner ASAP. Even if I don't kill, I'll leave him low, so my plant can kill him in the late game if necessary. Against this team, I want to play as much cards on my plant as possible to kill his. Because I know I'll need the aqua and the mech to kill the dusks. Using the zero cost on the aqua to remove stuns efficiently. Now I'll go all in all.
And since he was never able to kill my men, I'll close the game right here. And this was it for game 3. Enjoying the video so far guys? Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll explain the new changes on the team right now. As I said, this is a really cheap team right now. That doesn't mean you should take this as an investment advice, but let me talk a bit about each of these axes. Mech's role is still to be the damage dealer on the team. But, since this version has less damage than the Nutcracker or even the Axie Kiss one, we will need to either compensate that on other Axie, or control the opponent, so you can skip more turns and still kill him. If you pay attention, this is really an efficient team energy-wise. All three Axies have one zero cost. So if we can destroy their energy with Gota, or steal with Sirius while having zero cost cards ourselves, we should get momentum advantage. The Aqua is a really interesting and different choice. Yesterday I caught a Levox member on Twitch playing a shrimp like this, but with Hero on his back. And I asked him why, if naturally you would want to have full combos on backdoors to kill the enemies. And this is the reasoning behind it. Right now in this meta, and as I've said before in other videos, we can't backdoor reptiles, dusks or plants with a pure aqua. Not without bug or beast damage right? So, we will be most likely backdooring mechs, birds or aquas. If you have seen my previous videos on this, I've explained that you can kill a bird or mech with just 3 energy if they don't put any shield. But, they will be in last stand. And if they put 30 or 50 shield, most likely, they will survive. So that's where the zero cost comes in clutch. You can use it, just to make sure you finish them off without having to spend another energy like I used to with my other shrimpinator. It would be better to have an Oranda instead of Clamshell, to have two 120 damage cards. But, especially in high MMR, you catch a lot of mechs as the backliners, so Clamshell will give it an attack plus buff. If you use Clamshell and then Piranha, Piranha will do 188 damage on a mech, which is huge and compensates the 10 less damage Clamshell has. Does it make sense? And finally against Aquas, you will have a harder matchup for sure, but it's still doable as you saw in my other video, because you have a plant that counters them. Other ideas you can use, probably Hero, Balloon or any other zero cost that does damage. Some of these go really cheap because no one is using them right now. And yeah, we still use an utility plant. If you go with a zero cost card on the aqua, I'd suggest to have cactus or any damaging card on the plant. This type of plant helps against two of the hardest matchups this team has. Double anemone bird and double aqua plants. You have good damage against aquas, can steal the energy they get from Nimos, and can get a ton of energy with watering can. If you play Gota and Sirius, you can delay the birds back doors against your aqua and have better chances to win. So that's it guys, if you're looking for a cheap version of the team, go ahead and give this a try, or use my other version. Please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching, keep climbing the ranks.